Let's go, fellas. back and it comes out to the 25 yard line After a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Oh man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. From the 31, Murray. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The positioning here is key. Defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Throwing now is Murray. And he's got his man. It's the tight end Clay. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. On first and 10, here's Murray. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Being chased out left. He's got a man. It's Williams. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 40. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Hatchet, hatchet. Under 10, under 10. Back to the air on second down. It's Murray. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Whitney Merciless showing no mercy. Flies in for the sack. Well, enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. They're going for it. It's Murray. Steps away to his left. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. That's going to be caught by Kirk for a Cardinals touchdown. Christian Kirk, 49 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. 
That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 24. On the ground, this is Lamar Miller. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Play action for Miller, now Watson. And this is incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Now a first down throw. Watson eluding the pressure right. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 36. Now Watson. Open man, the tight end fouls. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. From the red zone now, Watson underneath for Miller. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. Hassan Reddick just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Third and long, it's Watson. Buying time to his left. And that is incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start it. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal, so, hey, if you guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football, but, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. Now this time, Murray to throw it. Flush to his right. He's got a man complete. It's Clay. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And the young buck showing that ability, that agility to dance outside of the pocket, complete the deep ball. And don't think for a second that the coaching staff didn't have their heart rate accelerate a little bit there, right? Anytime you have those young quarterbacks and they get outside of the pocket, you just... He's got it at the 15. Touchdown, Cardinals. Christian Kirk, two catches. Two touchdowns here so far. And the Cardinals push further out in front. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Guns out able to tack on the PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And no return on that as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Something going here as they come up on first and ten. On first down, Watson. 
And a big loss here as he's taken down. Clinton McDonald just creating a disaster there for the offense as that one goes 16 yards in the wrong direction. To try again after the sack. Watson escaping the pressure right. And they'll get him down here at the 23. He got him a big chunk of that yardage back, but even with that effort, it'll still be third and long. Throwing on third down, Watson. Flushed out, and a big loss here as he's taken down. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. They're going for it. It's Watson. Going deep here for Still. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Stills the intended target. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Murray now going for it all. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Murray again, second and 10. Letting one go deep for the end zone. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Trying to go back to Clay that time, but now it'll be third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Throwing is Murray on third down, eluding the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Now this time he'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It'll be a pickup of just two. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Here's Murray. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Angelo Blackson in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. This will be a 37-yard attempt. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. After the field goal, here's Gonzalez to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Texan offense ready to go here for their next drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. 
and I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it well. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll, we'll see if that script is a good one for them. On second down, here's Miller. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw is Watson. Flush to his right. He finds his target, Fuller. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 42. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They'll run with Miller. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. They'll run it again with Miller. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Now it's Watson escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Deshaun Watson so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. So first and 10 now from the 30. Watson now to throw. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. His struggles finding open receivers continue. I don't know the last time I saw him this inconsistent throwing the football. It would be hard to find a date when he was this inconsistent. You know, in his locker, he keeps the word poise printed on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. He needs to find that poise right now. He certainly does. And touchdown, Houston. Lamar Miller, 30 yards. As his guys are back within a single score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Bernardrick McKinney, the linebacker, picks it. Well, holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half, those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from. And when you're a rookie, keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates. But the other part, you've got to learn how to finish. It's the two Fs for a rookie quarterback. From the 25 on second down, Watson, he's going to take, oh, the ball is out, Watson lost it, and the Cardinals have got it, going the other way, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit, and in this case, lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. At the 22-yard line. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't block me. Go, go. Check, check. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. What a boost for this offense that he can throw in a run like that after the success that he had throwing the football. I love that, being able to mix in something a little bit different just when you're starting to think that's all you
Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Watson on first down. And this one incomplete. So the clock stopped now with 20 seconds remaining. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Watson, flush to his right. It's complete to Fuller. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the feet. 27 yards there.